Hello, welcome to UGC Net Online Pre Coaching. Already I started in new series June 2007. Uh, last part one I have discussed question number one to question number ten. Today I will discuss question number eleven to twenty. Look at question number eleven in June 2007. The following loop in C int i equal to zero while i plus plus less than zero. Uh, if it is true i minus minus it it will execute so will terminate option will go infinite and uh, will go into an infinite loop will give compilation error will never be executed in f uh, i think these options will uh, analyze how to solve this one i think it will be never be executed because int i equal to 0 while i 0 plus plus it is a post increment so first it is 0 only so 0 less than 0 yes sir. means it is false uh, so it will not execute uh, that's why I think it will be never be execute because initially I equal to 0 in who in while loop I plus plus means first increment so I less than 0 it fills the condition uh, it will be never be execute according to me I think uh, uh, if you know better uh, than this answer you may comment it in YouTube comment box um, uh, otherwise uh, it is considered as a will be never be executed okay option D is right answer now we'll go for question number 12 in case of right shift bitwise operator in C language after shifting n bits the leftmost nth bits always filled with zeros or always filled with ones are filled with zeros or ones and is machine dependent none of the above actually for this answer most of the time always filled with the zeros but uh, you cannot uh, say uh, it is only right for all the situation for bit rotation uh, first of all what is bit rotation a rotation is an operation similar to shift except uh, that the bits that fall off at one end are put back into the other end just uh, means um, substitute either uh, right or left for zeros or ones and just shift one bits uh, this is uh, this is useful some uh, uh, some of the application why um, application point of view it's very useful that's why it is using but uh, and this is what is left shift what is right shift uh, everything explained in detail um, but according to me uh, this is machine dependent depends on um, filled with zeros or ones uh, it is depending on machine so option c is the right answer okay look at question number 13 what keyword in class specification helps to hide a data public private static wide definitely wide and statics are uh, irrelevant to this question uh, only option is public and private but public data it can access anyone anywhere that's why it is not uh, uh, possible so private uh, uh, specifier uh, will use to hide the data for uh, for more detail just go through this link and this is google drive book just go through this link okay option b is right answer what is the output of the following c program sorry this is percentage x uh, misprinted main this is printf percentage x minus one uh, means uh, shift operator of four uh, there are four options look at how exactly it will work minus one is internally represented as all ones if it is a 16 bits then right shifted four times the least significant four bits are filled with zeros actually one is represented all number of ones but this is not uh, positive one this is negative ones with the right shift operator so four uh, first f means most significant bit filled by zeros so first four bits are filled with the zeros so zero and this is f f f so hexadecimal representation of this program it will print to zero f f, f. this is a straightforward question but it is little bit confusion this sir um, so while solving this type of question be careful it's very easy uh, first uh, read questions carefully 
and understand then answer don't uh, select uh, don't uh, um, select any options in suddenly in hurry in examination please read once uh, you have enough time uh, so read once or twice understand clearly then answer okay now we'll look at question number 15 runtime polymorphism can be achieved by accessing virtual function through the pointer of the base class accessing virtual function through the object the derived class or none of the above so if you know already it is used for um, virtual function means accessing a virtual function this de this determination is made at runtime and also is the runtime polymorphism uh, also we call it is a late binding uh, late binding means dynamic binding here the function is linked with a particular class much later after the compilation so means what it uh, functions are linked in a runtime not in a compile time so it is called late binding or uh, dynamic binding in following section we will discuss how to implement virtual function to achieve runtime polymorphism so go through this uh, link they are explained in detail uh, very clearly uh, so option uh, for 15th question uh, a is the right answer now look at question number 16 which of the following statement is wrong this is asked in uh, june uh, question number 18 june 2006 same question two page locking protocol suffers from deadlock time uh, timestamp protocol suffers from more about uh, timestamp protocol suffers from cascade rollback whereas two space like uh, locking protocol do not so none of these these are the four options but i explained in detail in question number 18 june 2006 means what part 2 of june 2006 question uh, please go through it in detail i explained in detail what, uh, what is two page locking and what is cascade what is rollback everything i explained so just go through it finally uh, uh, for this question option d is right answer okay now look at question number 17 a recursive foreign key is a references a relation references a table references its own relation references a foreign key so for this references its own relation because the child and parent table may in fact may be child table may be uh, same as a parent table sometime um, it is merged uh, that is the fo foreign key refers back to the same table such a foreign key e known is known as referential or recursive or referential uh, foreign key in uh, sql 2003 as a self -ref -re referencing or recursive foreign key in database management system this is often accomplished by linking a first and second reference to the same table means what same ta um, same table referencing itself so option a is right answer self referencing or recursive foreign key is called I hope is it clear now uh, option A is right answer now look at question number 18 a subclass having more than one superclass subclass having more than one superclass is called category same question uh, look at uh, so many questions uh, now we are getting repeated questions um, please uh, visit and um, watch all previous videos and so try to solve it uh, so many questions are repeated in this series and future also there are so many questions are repeated so be careful which questions are repeatedly asking because um, all are very important uh, for this question in uh, question number 20 june 2006 uh, previous question question number 18 2000 june 2 means or two questions here only repeated same questions repeated so be careful and uh, try to solve all the question papers uh, anyhow you watch all my previous videos and i'll upload upload um, next videos soon so uh, for this already i explained what is super class what is subclass category and participation uh, constraints uh, for this option d is the right answer 
so subclass having more than one super class is called partial participation here participation a total participation and partial participation i have explained in detail in question part 2 of june 2006 just who are the new visitors already visitors no problem they know uh, very well if you who are new visitors please go back and watch all my previous videos okay now look at question number 19 again this is also asked in question number 16 june 2006 so a relation r a b c d e f is given the following set of functional dependencies which of the following is a candidate key it's very important question this one asked i think four to five times this is given a to b a d to c and b to f a to e uh, now this one among the five functional the attribute a and d are not appearing Uh, on the right hand side of the functional dependency means what a and d is not appearing in right hand side almost it is left you see d is left here left there is no um, but here b is left but here appears in right also so uh, on the right hand side of the functional dependency so a and d will sure be part of the candidate key of the relation so we will start first finding the closer of a d if a d plus give the relation then it will be become the candidate key the relation uh, then it will be become the candidate key otherwise we will take the closer of remaining attribute will all will all possible combinations with ad so let us starts with the closer of ad means closer of ad is a d b c e f f e is equal to r ad is closer gives the relation r means what we are finding the what are the relation a to b b to f uh, here f there is no f again a to e uh, ad to c so ad is the common closer gives the relation r so ad is the candidate key for this question i hope uh, Uh, this one ask the same same question i have explained in detail uh, in uh, question number 16 june 2006 means uh, part 2 of june 2006 questions just visit and watch uh, um, previous videos okay uh, so option c is the right answer now look at question number 20 which statement is false regarding data independence data uh, again this one i think series of questions asked uh, Uh, previous questions here question number 18 december 2006 this one a uh, hierarchical data model suffers from data independence network model suffers from data independence relational model suffers only from logical data independence relational model suffers only from physical data independence here uh, which of the statement is false Uh, look at uh, this is false sometime it will ask which of the statement is true regarding so uh, look, uh, for false statement is i uh, explain in detail uh, this one relational data model initially this is ef code uh, he is the famous mathematician he has uh, derived in ibm research center in 1970 after that it is um, developed very soon because uh, very important concept uh, so uh, uh, after that he has explained everything rela related to mathematical relational model to uh, database models uh, here uh, data independence is uh, achieved more easily with normalization structure used the relational database than in the more complicated tree or network structure means what it is always this uh, data independence related to hierarchical network also physical data independence it's not relation between logical so option c is false statement okay i have explained in previous please uh, i i have i took very less time because all, uh, most of the questions repeated in previous uh, uh, question papers uh, so uh, now you came to know how much important all um, previous questions please go through it try to solve more and more questions okay uh, thanks for watching